Hey, this is Leo for Actualize.org. I'm going to tell you how to succeed in life. All right, this is my forte. This is what I love to study is success. And I'm going to give you about six or seven tips, just the fundamentals of what it takes to create a really successful life. All right, get ready because this is going to be a really powerful, quick self-help segment. And I go into more depth in other videos. So number one on the list is discover yourself. You have to have a deep understanding of who you really are in life to have long-term sustainable success and both happiness and then fulfillment, right? And for me, success is shallow if it doesn't come with the happiness and fulfillment component. So for me, I want to get all of it, both the external success and then the fulfillment, the lasting fulfillment and happiness that you can get with that. I don't want just shallow external success. And to do that, you need to really understand and discover who you are. And you might be thinking, well, I know who I am. No, you don't. Most people out there, I would say 99% of people do not really know who they are because they have not gone on the journey that it takes to discover that. And what I'm really talking about here, this is not some abstract notion, is you really need to discover what your top 10 values are. You need to discover what your top five feelings are in life. You need to discover what it is that you really want out of life, what is meaningful to you. And you gotta also discover what you don't want. And you might say, well, I know what I don't want. I know the things I don't like. Well, there might not be as much clarity there as you think it, there is. So this is all about a matter of clarity and articulation. It's one thing to know it vaguely. It's a totally different thing to actually articulate it, write it down, and know it very, very consciously. It's going to clear a lot of things up for you. And you're going to, if you sit down and do this process, you're going to quickly realize that you don't know as much about yourself as you think you do. And you probably have had moments in your life that have been like epiphanies where you had deep self-discovery. Maybe it was when you were traveling. Maybe it was after a breakup in a relationship. Maybe it was when you were struggling at work. You discover things about yourself. And by going through these, uh, these challenging experiences, we really discover what it is that we want out of life. And that's the foundation. Successful people know what they want. All right. The second point is have a life purpose. Have a purpose to your life. Life purpose is a very, very deep topic that I cover in other videos. But here, what I'm going to say about it is the fundamentals. Life purpose is what you want to accomplish in your life. Everything in your life that you're doing, and this is true for all successful people, is all their actions on a day-to-day -day basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, on a yearly basis, are leading towards some sort of point. They're all converging towards something. And they know what that convergence point is. For them, the convergence point, first of all, it's outside themselves. It's not so much about them, it's about something else, something bigger than them. It's about a sense of contribution. And again, I don't mean contribution in the sense of you have to be super altruistic and not care about yourself. No, it's contribution in the sense that you get a lot of enjoyment from contributing something positive to the world. So the question really is, what is the impact that you want to have? Are you clear on that? Are you totally committed to having that impact? So this could be impact in your family. This could be impact in starting the kind of business you want to start and having that business have a certain impact on society, whether it's helping people uh, in Africa get more water or helping produce green energy or helping people find, find love through like creating an online dating site. You know, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. If you're an inventor, it's about creating useful gadgets for people to use, right? Or useful inventions. If you're a scientist, it's about discovering new things about human beings in the world. If you're a mathematician, it's discovering new truth within mathematics. If you're an engineer, it's about building amazing, amazing machines that can help people. Some sort of positive impact, something that you're really bought into, something that's very important. If you have that, you're going to have passion, you're going to get motivated, you're going to get excited, and that's going to allow you to go out there and have the external success that you want. That's going to lead to money, that's going to lead to prestige and recognition and fame. All those things come from having a point outside yourself that you're moving towards and being very clear about it. You have to be very clear about what you want to be moving towards. Next is set big goals. Successful people set big goals. In fact, they set gargantuan goals, and you have to do that too. There's a tendency to say that we want to set realistic goals. You might say, well, I'm not going to set too ambitious of a goal because 
there's a risk that I'm going to fail. What, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on uh, a goal that's realistic, that I can attain. The problem with that kind of thinking is that a lot of times those realistic goals that we set are undervaluing what we can actually do in our lives. Right? You're selling yourself short. You don't really know how much potential you really have until you set a very ambitious goal. I'm sure at one point in your life you have done that and you've actually been able to meet it or even exceed it and you felt the power of that. Setting an ambitious goal, a big goal, is a great way to supercharge your motivation. And successful people are very passionate and motivated. And that's because they set big goals for themselves. If you set a weak goal, a small goal, a realistic goal, what's gonna happen is that you're not gonna get engaged with it, you're not gonna get excited enough to really go out there and take the action. And counterintuitively what might happen is that realistic goal that you set might actually be harder to accomplish than the very, very ambitious goal because the ambitious goal has heart to it. Whereas your weak, piddly little goal, well, who really cares if you accomplish it or not? It's not gonna have a big impact on you. It's not gonna have a big impact on the world. So have goals out there that are big, that are about not just you, but about other people too. The next point is hard work. You gotta work hard if you're gonna be successful. Successful people work their ass off. There are no magic bullets. There are no real get rich quick schemes and there are no real quick shortcuts to success and to deep fulfillment. This is something that you work towards. You have to take a lot of action towards. The secret to making this work, because you don't want your work to be a grind, is you want your work to be aligned with your purpose and with your values. So that work and play, that boundary starts to, starts to really blur. And when you're working, you're feeling like you're doing what you really love to do. And so you're really passionate about it, and the two are so blended that you really no longer make a distinction between your time off and your time at work. And therefore, you can work really, really hard, but it doesn't feel like you're working really hard. And you can therefore take a lot of action, which is necessary to accomplish big goals, and you can get them accomplished, and you can feel great about them, and so it's really like a win-win-win situation. But you gotta be out there working hard. If you're sitting on your ass all the time, at home, on the couch, watching TV, you're not gonna have success in your life. It's just not gonna happen. There are people out there that are really, really pushing themselves, and you gotta position yourself in a, in a place in life where you're pushing yourself hard, too. And you know what? This is where you wanna be. This is being on your edge. This is living an exciting, charged kind of life. So work hard, very important. Next point, do not quit. Successful people are extremely persistent. They do not quit when it gets tough. And it will get tough. I don't care how passionate you are about what you're doing. I don't care how much you love it, whether you love it or you don't. There's gonna be ups and downs in life. And whatever you're pursuing, whatever kind of big goal you set for yourself, especially if you set those big goals, they're gonna be challenging. They're gonna require you to grow. They're gonna require you to step outside your comfort zone. And that means emotional labor will be involved. That's okay, but to, in, to make sure that you get through that and to get to your ultimate objective of success, you're gonna to have to have persistent and you can't quit when the going gets tough. So, you know, maybe you're working on a project and something's not working out the way you want. Something slips, something fails, and you're really tempted to quit and throw in the towel. Or maybe there's a relationship and you're trying to work it out but it's not working and you're tempted to drop it, you're tempted to quit there. You know, whatever part of your life you really wanna quit or drop right now, if you're in that kind of point, you gotta, push through it if it's really aligned with your values and aligned with your purpose. If it's not aligned, you can, you can drop it. In fact, you should. But otherwise, you have to be very, very persistent. If you read biographies of the most successful people throughout human history, business leaders, social leaders, politicians, celebrities, actors, you know that just the underlying theme of all those biographies and all their histories is that they were very, very persistent and they were okay with failure. In fact, most of these people, they were so successful because they failed so much that they just couldn't, their success was inevitable because after you fail thousands of times, you start to learn your lessons and you start to get good. And the human brain is really, really, really stubborn and it doesn't tend to learn from success as much as it does from failure. So when you're failing a lot, don't get discouraged, push on, persevere, 
Go through your hardest moments because those hardest moments that you go through, that's where you learn your biggest lessons. And those are what grow you to be able to handle bigger and bigger challenges to accomplish more and more and get that kind of success that you want. And these are also, coincidentally, the proudest moments of your life, the moments of your life that you will never, ever regret. So never quit when you're doing something that's important to you. The next point is master your thoughts and emotions. This is a more subtle point, but it's very, very important. If you can't master your thoughts and you're always swayed by your emotions, you're thinking pe pessimistically, you're thinking negatively, you're thinking uncritically, or your emotions have the better of you, you're always stressed, you're always anxious, you're always overwhelmed, you can't focus, then what are you going to accomplish? How can you accomplish anything in your life? Not only are you not going to be externally successful because you're not going to be able to run a business, you're not going to be able to hold down a job, you're not going to be able to study, you're not going to be able to be in a good relationship because no one's going to want to be in a relationship with you when you're like that. Not only are you not going to have those things, but you're also going to feel miserable too. You don't want to be swayed by all these negative emotions. You don't want to be worrying all the time. You don't want to be stressed all the time. Nobody likes to feel that. And you don't want your thoughts going in a million different places. You want to be able to concentrate and focus your thoughts. So this is called emotional mastery. You got to master your emotions. You got to master your thoughts. And that means you got to do some introspection once in a while. How about taking up some habits like journaling, meditation, reading books, talking with mentors or having a coach. These are great ways to start to develop mastery over your emotions and your thoughts. Because if you're all over the place, you're going to be so concerned about just fixing problems in your own life that you're not going to be, go, be able to go out there and take the action you need to take and make the contribution you need to make in order to generate really big success. And then the last point, and this is one of my favorites, and this is one that people really miss out on, is study success. Successful people study success. Success is not what we naively think, which is something that happens naturally to some people and doesn't happen to other people. Success is a very deliberate, conscious endeavor that you undertake. Success is built over months and years, and it's done consciously. And the more you understand the principles of success, the concepts of success, the more you study people who have been successful, the more you see what it really takes. And that process of success, the principles, are not always what they seem. And to me, this is something that I've really committed my life to, is studying these principles. I really love it. It's exciting for me. And I really encourage you to get involved with that. So that means maybe attending some seminars, reading some books, watching these videos, learning about it, maybe joining a group of friends that are successful, joining a mastermind group, right? Be around successful people, learn how the success process works, and learn the psychology of success. Not the externals of success, but the psychology. That's what we're talking about. All right, so I'm going to wrap it up here. This is how to be successful in life. Please post me your comments. I love reading them. Of course, like this and share it if you would. And check out actualize.org where we have advanced personal development videos just like this one. We go to, into a lot more depth about what it really takes to become successful and happy in life. And we specifically cover this last point, these last two points really, of how to master your thoughts and your emotions and how to study success. What are the principles of success? I have my personal development blueprint on there, which is a free product, a free guide that has a hundred of the biggest, most important success principles for success and happiness out there. I spent literally years researching this, distilling it down from over a hundred thousand dollars of the best personal development material that I could find out there from books to really expensive seminars. So go ahead and check that out. It's free.